Hello. I'm back with the final another day to some fill-ins. Still have not went to Walmart. I haven't. Uh, Kenny's been asking about his cherry pies. I'm filming this on his birthday. I made him a pie and at the end I'll show it to you. Yeah. Using what I have. Homemade with love. One thing I probably won't be having to buy at the grocery store for a while is eggs. My hands are laying they are. Look at those beautiful eggs. And I've got nine of them that hopefully will drop off for a neighbor because they messaged me and said, would you happen to have any eggs? I got eggs. So that's probably one thing you won't be seeing in a grocery haul. But when I was at Hugo, I actually filmed that not my code items. So I'm going to show you those first. Remember, this is filling in, not going to Walmart. Don't think I've been to any other grocery stores. Of course, you know, when you see my Dollar Tree hauls, you see snacks here and there. But I'm going to turn you over to what I got on the cold side, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the rest. It is not gonna cut off. <laughs> I had the hardest time getting that thing to cut off. Eli, look in the dryer, sweetheart. We're fixing to leave and the boys are getting ready. That's one reason I decided to go ahead and do this. It's a little dark in here, but I didn't want to turn on any more lights. Buns, that was a must. $2.49 for 12 restaurant size buns. And they're good till March of 27, March 27th. Just 12 buns, restaurant style, special recipe buns. I think I want a good cheeseburger. I really want a blue cheese cheeseburger. I forget what they call them. And so that's gonna have to wait because I'm trying not to go back to the store till April, <laughs> not getting groceries anyway. So I got a pack of 12 buns. For $1.59, I got eight hot dog buns. Good till March 28th. Because we got plenty of hot dogs from the Yigo. Eli reminded me we need some hot dog buns because he likes hot dogs. And the special recipe bread. This is by the Lewis shop. For $1.59, I got a loaf of bread. A little bit more expensive than the Dollar Tree, but also Dollar Tree right now just has the pound loaf. This is the 20 ounce loaf. So we're good on bread for now. One of these days, Andy's gonna, I'm gonna have to start cooking bacon. I'm gonna have to start bacon. I got all the stuff. Puffed, jet puff, pumpkin spice, marshmallow. Eli likes these. We all do. They were 50 cents. And they actually give you a crispy, spicy pumpkin treat on the bag. So I just bought one. I'm trying to be good. Slow and steady. Enjoy this on meats and vegetables. Deep South Flavors by Lowe's. Original for barbecue or grilling. It even comes with a little spoon. Look at this jar, how cute. But for $1.99 and 8.5 ounces, I thought I'd give this a try. And it's good till, it says 4.23 or 23, but it'll be good past that. So I got one of those. That's why it was probably cheaper. I love the jar and the little spoon. I can picture putting other stuff in it when I'm done with this. And I can share too. 
So I've got one of those on me. Come back and I'll share with you. Bought one of the Easy Onion minced and ready to use. How many times do I do these quick meals? And these items come in handy for $1.99. No peeling, no chopping, or tears. Spice World, established 1949. So I got one of those. Eli was with me the day we went. I was looking to see for the expiration day because may not have had one on it. Oh, it does. May 17th of 2024. Got a good long shelf life. Once I open it, I'll put it in the refrigerator. And it's going to be good for quite a while. For $1.99 for 20 ounces. I heard of pink beans. Are pink beans pinto beans? These are in Carolina style barbecue sauce. Lux Southern style. Lux beans are good. These are $1.39. And I don't see the expiration date on it. Oh. August 25th of 24 for $1.39. If we like these real well, I may go back and get a few more of these. Not till April. Not till April. And these are 20 ounces. Buffalo beans. Serious bean company. Bucking buffalo beans made with real buffalo sauce. 15.5 ounces. non PBA, mild, heat, tangy, real buffalo sauce. I thought this would be great to try, and it's good to April of 24 for a dollar. For a dollar. I love you, Go. I know I've seen where a lot of people are commenting they either like you, Go, or they don't have a you, Go. And I wish y'all did. I know different areas have different, uh, what do you call it, uh, discount grocery outlets. I do pay attention to the dates on them. I know a lot, they sell, do sell expired items, which tells you expired items can still be good. It's just a best used by date. Got a pack of these cause I know they're supposed to be floating around Dollar Tree, but I've not seen them. They're called Quaker Chewy Fruit and Fun Granola Bars. Splendid Strawberry. Got one of those for $1.49. There are six in the box. And to be honest with you, I thought they were pebbles. But they're Splendid Strawberry. Made in a Peanut-free facility for $1.49. A little bit more than if I had found them at the Dollar Tree, but I haven't. I wanted to get one so we could try it. Eli picked them up, a couple of more, of the pineapple tidbits and the juice. The four, four-ounce cups for a dollar. Cheaper than the Dollar Tree. You get four four-ounce cups instead of three. And I believe there's a four ounce cups too. So you get a whole pound without having to core it, peel it, chop it. And he likes them. So I was glad to get them for him. We bought, I think four of these. And I don't think we've even ate any of them yet. Keto popcorn, low sugar, keto friendly. There's 80 calories for this bag. Best by March 30th of tw uh, 23, which we know it'll go past that. We still have, at the time of this recording, 12 more days, so. 33 cents. Not a bad deal for a snack. Go into any of your convenience stores, you're gonna pay over a dollar. At least over a dollar for a bag like this. And it's only .63 ounces. But I bet it's good. Like I said, we've not tried them yet. I only bought one of these. They like put it in my buggy. These are actually two ounces. 33 cents. Chipping in and giving back community snacks. Best by May 8th of 2023. Maybe I should try these. Maybe I'll like them and 
when April rolls around, they have these or something else similar, I might get them. So I got one of those. Um, yeah, just one of those. And we got a bunch of bananas, a bunch, two bunches, but I just got these over here. Eli actually got a green banana that day. Don't know why he got a green one unless he's going to see how it took me to get this all done. But it's still really green. So I got another bunch over there that they've been eating. And I've got these. I hear a banana pudding in Kenny's future. Bought another can of these white sweet corn with pop poblano peppers. 39 ounces for $1.49. In my last haul that stretched out because I was chit-chatting and doing all that, they were actually $1.99 at the one that I had went to on Clinton Highway. This, you go, was in uh, Jacksburg, Tennessee. Jacksburg, Tennessee. Out between Jacks between Jacksburg, La Follette, in that area. So I just bought one of them <coughs> for $1.49. 39 ounces. I think that's a great deal. And I believe I just have one more item. Yeah. Like I said, it was just filling. You see, I had had bread. Didn't, didn't even have cherry pies. So I thought, well, I'll just make something here. And uh, very few snacks, mainly filling items. But I went ahead and got one of the Quaker Oats. We grew up eating Quaker Oats. I buy Walmart brand. I had plenty here, but I wanted to show you that you go had them. And not only that, let me see, 42 ounces, not only that, they were $4.99, which is, I think, like a dollar higher than Walmart. I'm going to compare the taste of them because, like I said, I remember growing up with the Quaker Oats. I didn't mind paying just a little bit more this one time to try them out. I seen this face and I thought, I gotta get them. That's it for the haul. If you want to stay tuned for a minute, I'll go get that pie I made. Yeah, I was wanting to get this pie done, so I didn't make my own crust, but I still had one of these peppermint chocolate nut uh, pie crusts that I had paid 90 cents for at Walmart. I'm opening it. But I made a cherry pie to go in it. I think I think it will complement each other. But look at the pie. I can cook. <laughs> All I did is use the mix that Kenny's done seen it. See, it's already setting up. Don't that look pretty? I did the Kool-Aid. The Kool-Aid pie with the Kool-Aid, the whipped cream, and um, Condensed milk, is that what it is? Condensed milk. You know, the really, really thick milk comes in a smaller can. You can get it at Ugo. I mean, you can get it at Ugo, I'm sure. You can get it at Dollar Tree. You can get pie crust at the Dollar Tree, but I couldn't find my regular pie crust. I thought I had one left. And I'm trying to watch so I didn't buy any more. You can buy cherry pie filling at the Ugo. At you go where the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so this pie could be a Dollar Tree pie. It could be a Yugo pie. It could be a Walmart pie. Because I believe all the ingredients could be found at any of them. The only thing about these little tins, it's getting it sealed back up. I hope you seen something in this video that maybe you're looking for and you think is a good price. I hope you have a Yugo close by you. I know in Virginia they have something called, I think, Smart Shopper. Is that what it's called? They have a discount store. I think it's called Smart Shopper, something like that. Different areas have different stores. So, um, trying to still use a lot out of my pantry. Just mainly getting in some filling stuff. I'll be glad when I can go back and get my salad. I still have yogurt from the last trip when we went to 
on Clinton Highway in Knoxville. Kenny's, I've got enough cherry stuff to make Kenny several cherry things until I get back to Walmart. Unless he stops, I'll get it. Yeah, I ain't gonna deprive him. But milk, I'm out of, but I have my pantry stable milk that I put in the refrigerator, which I'll need to replenish when I go back to the Dollar Tree because I'm trying to stay out of stores. I better get off of here. We got a birthday boy to celebrate with. We're going to my stepsons, my oldest stepson, Michelle's and the girls and Nick and them's meeting us over there. Don't know if I'll do any video and you won't see this till after that. Then got several lined out for you. I hope, I hope uh, you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. We gotta make the most out of our days. And until next time, we'll talk soon.